you know that a spleen should only be about the same size as a kidney, 150 grams. You know that a spleen shouldn't be more than about, oh, 10 or 11 centimeters big. Here's a 15 centimeter span, and it's not even half the di greatest diameter of the spleen. This is a massively enlarged spleen. One reason for a massively enlarged spleen, in fact, probably the most common region, reason, would be chronic leukemias, especially chronic myelogenous leukemia. In chronic myelogenous leukemia, the spleen is frequently bigger than the liver because it is loaded with leukemic blood cells. Let's take a look at this patient's peripheral smear. You know that the average uh, white count is about five to 10,000 and the average red count is about 5 million. A quick calculation would make you believe that therefore there should be 500 to 1,000 times as many red cells as you see white cells. You could see in here a good fraction of the total cells are white cells. So this is a massively enlarged white cell count, perhaps 50, 80, 100,000 perhaps, you know, 10 times what a white count should normally be. Notice that the uh, chief cell is in the granulocytic series, and they are not predominantly blasts. Yes, there may be some blasts, but most of these cells are metamyelocytes, myelocytes, and band neutrophils. If you look, you could probably find a certain percentage of blasts, but they are not the predominant cell. In chronic myelogenous leukemia, not only do we have a proliferation of the neutrophilic series, but we may frequently have increases in the red and platelet series as well. So even though it's called chronic myelogenous leukemia, it is classified as a myeloproliferative disorder in which perhaps the red series and platelets are elevated as well. In addition, you may very easily see increases in eosinophils as well, like you see here and here. Here are some eosinophilic granules in here. And also there are, and here's an eosinophil, also there are increases in basophils. So chronic myelogenous leukemia is a true myeloproliferative uh, disorder. Let's take another quick little peek here and see if we could find some uh, increases in basophils too. Yep, here we have an increase in a basophil. Thank you very much.